right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Outsiders. It's currently May 16th and as you can tell, we're here in good old Lower Niagara. Now, the goal for today is, well, we're here at the platform right now. And as of now, we're the only car in here, which is crazy because it's like two, three hours after sunset. Our goal is to hopefully catch some walleye here. And then if, hopefully, if we limit out on walleye, let's hit the shore catch some nice keeper white bass so we got a variety of jigs and we got some minnows and yeah i think we're about to get fishing so we'll see you down there and get back to you if we got a fish on line there we go guys got first fish on of the day right here it's like a nice small mouth too pretty dark one this one hit like Real close to shore over here. I'm trying to bring him here. I don't know if this one's gonna be possible to flip up because he does look a little bigger than normal. I'm gonna try to bring him here. My hopefully my dad's getting the net. So we can land him over here. Yep, he's getting the net. Oh man, uh oh. I just pulled him head first in this current right here and now he's going real crazy. Hell yeah. And as you can see, if I look to my right and I look to my left. Well, there ain't no one in the fr on the freaking pier today which is a good thing because we got the fishing all to ourselves i did throw my jig in the water over there where the current is real fast and i hooked something silver i don't know what it could have been a sheep's head steel head or a white bass i hooked it but didn't get a too good of a look at it yeah nice bass you, you could come net it <laughs> Nice launched them straight into the net man <laughs> all right let's hold this one up for you guys all right guys first fish of the day probably only been here 15 20 minutes hit it on the jig right here nice and very dark bass so let's go set them off over here you're not there boy later with the bass perfect time right there we were seeing a whole bunch of fish swimming this current over here so hopefully we catch more before we head to the shore so let's see what else we can catch up there There's a fish. All right, there's a, yeah. Second one of the day right here, guys. Not too sure what it is yet. It's fighting me like a bass. Right before that first one I caught too, I did see, it looked like a white bass chase it in. This one is fighting like a smallie. Oh yeah, another smallie, nice one. Oh yeah, dude, these things fight insane. Oh wow, a lot bigger than the last one too. A lot bigger. Yeah, it's a bass, a nice one too. That's a, it's a big one, yeah. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Let's see what we got there, man. Go ahead and it. I'm gonna net it for you. y'all check that one out right there that's a solid i'd say just hovering over four pound right there super thick definitely four hell yeah all right let's send this one off our right, important up here too yes you are always oh, local All right, guys, and unlike that last one, this guy came super, super far out. The other guy came super close to shore, so sent him off. There it goes. Nice. Yep. There we go. There's another fish on. Oh, another nice smallie. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, doggy. Third one of the day already. Dang, another fatty too. That's freaking crazy. They're all pretty fat today. All on the crackhead jig too, little three inch swim bait. They're just nailing it. 
This one is definitely a little too big to flip up, so I guess we'll wait for my dad with the net. You can just see him swimming in the water right there. Nice one. You could net it, bro. Oh, dude, look at the stripes on this. Yeah, nice stripes on him. There you go. Nice. Heck yeah. That's another fatty, too. All right, y'all. Third of the day for me right there. Look at that. Nice tiger stripes on this one over here. That guy, too. He's three for three on the net job, so let's go turn this one loose. <laughs> All right, looks like the water's coming up just a little bit, so we don't have to launch them out as far this time. But there he goes. Nice fish right there. Hopefully get back out here. I just have been hitting them in this calm pool over here because it's way too quick over there to jig. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep on jigging this hole, see if we catch any more. Going down here to tell my dad he should fish where I am. But right in the middle of it, right in the middle of it, my dad caught something. Oh, where'd that bobber go? <laughs> Just disappeared under there. Oh yeah. oh yeah, that's definitely a nice one. Alright man, let me go run and get the net real quick. so many bobber downs but this is the first one you actually got so let's go oh man oh this should be an easy net job there we go fish in the net all smallmouth bass so far no different species but hey in this current fish this small will put up a great fight yeah i thought it was all right guys I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it looks like he got, a, he got a weird indent right yeah, in the middle of him. But hey, we'll send him loose. A little kind of grody Somali. Probably the smallest of the day as well. I'll try to give him a nice 10 out of 10 nose dive. There he goes. Man, this current's really ripping over here. Maybe it's pushing. There could be a possibility of some trout in here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to float here for a little bit because I've been hitting him on the jig in the slower water. So we'll see if we catch any over here. There's a fish on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, another nice smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, another smallmouth. Earlier on the in the day, I hooked something silver over there, but I couldn't get a good look at it though. But yeah, just been mostly smallmouth. Yeah. I'm just a driver. <laughs> what do you got there? Just another bass. Oh. A little smaller one. You got him on the float. Yeah, I got him on the float. Alright, let's see if we can land him now. Nice. Not bad. Oh, this current, that, that's pretty wicked to watch the bobber down. Yeah. It's fun. Whoa. Alright. Alright, y'all, there we go. Number four bass for me on the day did lose one earlier in the day like i said this is a little guy definitely my smallest of the day we'll turn him loose there he goes nice oh look at that my dad's got one on right there guys Appears to be another bass. He just switched up to the jig too, because he wasn't getting any hits on the float. And probably within 10 minutes of switching, hooked up to a nice bass right there. Jig it off, jig it off the bottom. Yeah, good. <laughs> on the blue jig this time, not the fire tiger. Oh yeah. There you go, man. Nice one. 
hold that for me. My dad's second of the day. I believe I'm at four right now. Let's have him hold them up for you. All right. That's what he caught it on right there. Crackhead. I guess you call that sparkly bluish. Nice natural color. Second batch for my dad on the day. Definitely an nice. upgrade from his last one. Yeah. Lighter colors though. So. Turn them loose. There yeah. it goes. I think it's what? Two for you, four for me? Four for you. And we missed a couple as well. So probably going to fish the platform maybe an hour or two and then head to the shore. Because there ain't no walleye here, so maybe at the shore the white bass are in, so I guess we'll see. I'll get some feeders, man. I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> there we go. There's a fish. I <laughs> just switched up to the jig. I got inspired by my dad right there. And we got a fish on. Look at that. Nice smallie fighting in the current. Hell yeah, he inspired me to switch up to the jig. The float ain't been producing for whatever reason. Got a nice smolly on over here. Oh man, look at that rod bend, dude. You can't freaking beat that. Guys, should I try? Should I dare flip him up? Nah, my dad's got the net. <laughs> look at the, look at the freaking rod bend in the current, dude. Man, this is the year to small off us, huh? Yeah, it is. There we go. Nice one, Number five on the day for me right there. Oh, wow. Wow, is that yeah, so definitely. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. Oh, they look bigger than that. <laughs> but definitely the, my two first ones were, whoa, the real fatties of the day. This guy, that's a little son of a gun. Probably hover, whoa, snap. Almost fell in the water there, guys. But I gotta be careful. But yeah, probably another two pounder. Throw him off. All right, tell the other ones to bite now. There we go, looks like my dad's got one on down there. Let me go get the net for him. Still counted as a couple of them. Almost still. Oh, you got one too? Oh no. <laughs> and I felt it on my rod. I wasn't even looking at the bobber, dude. Oh yeah, nice bass. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Is that number three for you or four? I think three. All this time on the pink crackhead jig too. What do you think? Yeah, not a bad one. Alright. Three for three. There you go. See you later, man. man. I'm still trying to get something floating in the fast current, but it seems to be a lot more fish over here in the slower stuff. Yeah, I lost visual of mine, and then I seen him set. I'm like, oh, I got a fish head. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's, let's check another. another. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, if you don't mind, thanks. All right, there we go, guys. Put a nice bass on right there. I think this might be my sixth of the day if I can land him. Let's see, let's see. Thank you. All right, there we go, guys. I believe number six on the day. That's a pretty dark one right there. All I was doing is I was actually throwing it past this fence right here and then hit semi in the middle, right at the end over here. So let's turn this one loose. Thank you, number six. Probably 30 more minutes and then we'll head to the shore. See ya. Oh my gosh, back to back. There we go. That was freaking back-to-back -back cast, guys. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, another nice bass. Oh yeah. He's tugging me pretty good. Oh, look at that. That's sick, the Border Patrol boat. Let's see. Thanks again. 
Dude, that was nice. Now one guy's gonna take your legs out and steal your lures. <laughs> yeah. Just me, yeah. That was funny. Yeah. All right, man. There we go. Number seven on the day. This one looks familiar. I don't know if I caught him. You guys let us know. See ya. This one, dude. I got that one, bud. Stronger? Well, let's get a look at it. Another bass, yeah. Nice one. I saw that set out. Yeah, dude, it had so much power when I set into that thing. Good, nice. That's a big one, too. Dang, that might be my biggest of the day. Holy smokes. Yeah, that probably went straight up. Wow, dude. Damn. I'm gonna take a picture of you in the corner. That's a big one. That's a five pound. There you go, Noah. All right, guys, check that puppy out right there. Just weighed it just under five pounds, man. We're catching some slobs this year. Straight up tank. Wow, that is a big fish. Yes. Yeah, big fish. Got it good? Beautiful. All right, let's give him a nice release down. There he goes. There he goes, damn. Definitely the biggest of the day right there. I think number eight for me. If I can give it 20 more minutes and I'd head down to the shore see if we catch some white bass. Let's get back out there. Okay. I think it is a bass. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right, guys. As you can see, we've got another fish on right here. Oh, that might be, it's white. It might be a white bass. This might be our target species. There's something, something white and shiny over here, guys. Hell yes. It's a silver. White bass. A white bass, yeah. Hell yes, guys. Finally, our freaking target species. We we're about to leave and try the shore at our, at our normal white bass spot. But hey, looks like we're caught on here. All right, guys, nice white bass right here. We were going to keep it, but we figured we're probably going to catch a whole bunch at the shore. Well, that's what we're hoping. So I figured uh, better to leave this one uh, not in the cooler in our car the whole time. So probably some people down here. We'll see if they want it. We'll probably give it to them because these ones are some nice eaters. So let's get back out there and try to catch some more fish. There's a fish. Got one. Just a little bass. Yep. Oh, I think I could probably flip him up. All right, y'all, let's go for the flip. Oh, man. We got him. Hell to the yeah. Damn, he almost choked that one, too. Practically all the way in his mouth. Oh man, I pulled the tail out of its gullet, dude. Another little small guy. But hey, we're not complaining, man. I think this is number 10 for me on the day. We did want to go to the shore, but man, the fishing here is just too good to give up right now. So we're going to keep at it. 10 out of 10 right there. Oh, there we go. That's got a fish on. Oh yeah. That's a nice bass right there. This would be, I think, his fourth or fifth of the day if he could land it. I think fourth, because he did lose that one earlier on in the day. But I'll get the net. Thank you. There we go. Alright, not bad. Every time I think I want to change the uh, setup, I'll hit yeah, keep it. I think it's because the water. The water's the highest it's been all day, so I think these fish are pushing in. Just like that last time me and Trent were at the river, the water was super low, we weren't catching anything. But as soon as it rose up, we started catching fish. So, what's this number four? It's number four, yeah. Number four for my dad. Let's give him the twirl. 
Oh yeah, nice one. There's a fish. Yep, got something on right there. Oh, it's a bass. Another bass. You got that way out there. Yeah. You can get it up. Yeah, I should be able to flip this one. I don't know. Just get the net. Yeah, yeah, it takes a little bit. When you better way out there, I thought it was a walleye. Yeah, I thought it was a walleye too when I was swimming in. Because the guy that just came down here, he hooked up to a walleye out there. Two, actually. All right, number 11 for me on the day, man. Freaking fishing is hot, hot, hot down here. Nice. Yeah, there's a nice flow now. Yeah, bass. All right, man. Number 11 on the day. We'll send him off. All right, guys, there's another fish on. Been a little while since that last one, but finally got number 12 on right here. It's fighting pretty hard too. As you can see, the water calmed down in front of me. So I switched to a jig again and ended up hitting this guy. Whoop. There we go. Oh, dude, he just shot up a minnow out of his gullet. Yeah, he shot up a giant minnow that looked exactly like my lure, too. Got a little marking on him. Number 12 of the day for me. Send him off. All right, guys, just got done fishing the platform. And now, as you can see, we're here on the shore. And actually, we've, we've got to make a confession. We've been fishing the shore for quite some time. And we're actually going to have to end this video here because there's going to be a part two epic white bass slam coming next week that you're not going to want to miss. So at the platform, I think I was able to pull in 12 and my dad was able to pull in four. So I don't want to show you what we got behind you right now, but it's a buttload of fish for the fish fry. You're not going to want to miss that video. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and the smallie slam we had at the platform. So if you like the video, like it and stick around for part two next week. We'll see you in the next episode.